What's up, my friends? Are you ready for some serious RAGBRAI action? Because it's time to ride 500 fun-loving miles from the Missouri River all the way across the state to the Mississippi. Along the way, we'll be searching out all the best slip and slides and yummy food. And this year, we organized a very informal team selling hot pink shirts to raise money for the Dream Team, an amazing organization that gets young people on bikes. Hey, help out my channel by liking and subscribing. And if you want to directly support my channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You'll get early releases and much more. And I like your shirt. You oh yeah. Oh, that water is nice and warm. It's a hot tub. It really is. It's bath water. <laughs> All right, my friends. Can you believe it's here? It's Ragbri 50. You've watched my videos about Ragbri. You know what this is all about. It is the largest bike touring event in the world. I love it with all of my heart. It's so much fun. I always tell people it's like a big rolling county fair. And for me personally, I feel like it shows off the best of small town America. It's charming, it's fun, it's goofy. It's seven days long and my goal is to show you the heart and soul of this ride and this state. So let's go have some fun. Who's psyched for Rag Ride? Ole, 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 ole. Look who it is. Look who it is. I would like to introduce you to two very special people. This is Jack. Hi. This is Michael. They live in Boulder. Jack is 12 years old. He is going to ride all 500 miles. Michael is his father. They're awesome people. And they drove me out here. You know I don't really drive. I don't have a car. So thank you so much for driving me Our out here. Our pleasure, Dooser. Our pleasure. Man. Are you excited or what? First Ragbri, this is going to be awesome, and we couldn't ask to be riding it with a better person. So uh, happy to start our ride with Ryan. Thanks, man. Yeah. Smile, everybody. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, time together. So doing something hard and fun, and it's going to be fantastic. Hey, it's Dan. How's it going, buddy? I remember you from last year. I remember you from last week. <laughs> As you might remember, Dan was in my video last year surfing on his bike. We're going to make sure to get a lot of footage of that. Tell me a little bit about your story story again, your travels through the United States and why you did that. Yeah, so I, uh, I rode the lower 48 states for suicide prevention awareness. What inspired me to do that was uh, my own suicide attempts. I attempted three times, was planning a fourth uh, when a friend got me on a bicycle and uh, physically and mentally changed my life. I was over 200 and uh, I was about 270 pounds and uh, I'm in the best shape of my life mentally and physically now and uh, just trying to encourage people to smile and be uh, their best selves. Who's ready for Rag Ride? We are! Yeah. Rag Ride time! Whoa. So this is the patch from the very first Rag Ride? Yeah. Look I don't, at that. wonder if there's any more of them here. So you rode the very first Rag Ride? I did, all the way across when what, I was 18. What year was that? 1973. And how was it? Different from this. <laughs> What, it gets, what inspired you to come back 49 years oh later? Yeah, it's 50th anniversary. Yeah. Golden That's anniversary. So cool. so we got to compare it, see how it is. See if I, uh, I didn't think there'd be a chance I'd see Ryan Van Duzer in this crowd. This <laughs> go get him, go get him. Only 500 miles to go. Enjoy you your videos, this. man. You got Good this. Job. Once again, I'll be riding the Priority 600. This is my favorite bike for when I'm not mountain biking. And I'll be carrying all my own gear. Most people don't but this is just how I roll. So what's your name? Walt. And where are you from? What are you doing? Atlanta, here for Rad Ride. About to ride across the state of Iowa. <laughs> is first, this your time, first time? First time, yep, yep. Rad Ride Virgin right here. Yeah, and what yep. made you want to do all this? Hey, I just like excitement. It's something, the 50th anniversary, beer, <laughs> music, you know. Why, why would you want to be here? I'm not going to get anywhere if I hang out at this spot all day, so maybe it's time to go. <laughs> Happy Rag Ride Day! Here we go! We're surfing! Happy Rag Ride! I've been waiting for this for a whole year. I certainly love Rag Ride with all my heart. Thank you, thank you! Oh, here we go! 
right off the bat. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Did you know that an ole a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Nice bike, buddy. Priority <laughs> okay. 600X I, in the house. I saw it on some YouTube video somewhere. <laughs> Had to have one. So it's really easy to make friends on Ragbri, and I just made a new friend, Chris. How you doing, bud? Good, man. How are you today? Good. Have you done this before? Nope. First timer. What inspired you to do this? You. No. Yes. <laughs> Had knee surgery watching too many YouTube videos. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Found you, and I said, I got to do it. Turned 60 this year. So I said, that's it, gonna do a big ride. Good for you, my friend. So. Right on, you got the big old fat bike. Yep, big old surly ice cream truck. Good morning, good morning. One of the most charming aspects of Ragbri are the people who live in the towns that we go through. And they always line the streets when we're riding in and riding out and they wave at everybody. And it's just so welcoming. Good morning, good morning, how you doing? Oh, no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Good morning, good morning. There's another 600X in the house. How you doing, Rock? All the way, awesome, Ryan. Powered by pink, too. That's right, you are. So I tend to get pretty excited here at Ragbri. Well, I get pretty excited when I'm around other people and bikes, and I whoop and holler a lot, so you might want to turn the volume down on your TV, because it might get a little loud. <laughs> we feeling good? The first hill to be. First hill, here we go. We got this. So a lot of people, when they think of Iowa, they think flat as a pancake, but it's not. There are some hills in Iowa, and today is gonna to be a fairly hilly day. Awesome, I love your outfit. Thank you. That is so cool, and you have a little co-pilot. I do. What's his name, her name? Mocha. Mocha, hi, to, nice to meet you, Mocha. I'm on the handlebar. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> now you are riding in style, <laughs> eating a cookie. On your left. You're so lucky. <laughs> this is the way to do rag ride. That is, I love it. I got another little one up here. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? It yeah. yeah. It feels really good. It feels good. Get you going in the morning. At the beginning of every Ragbri, within the first 10 miles of the very first day, there's always a mile of silence. And it's a mile where all the cyclists are asked to turn off their stereos and pause their conversations so that we can think about all the cyclists who have been killed by motorists around the United States. So it's just an opportunity to send some love out to those people who have perished and also think about how we can make our streets safer for cyclists because as you all know I love bikes and I want everybody to ride their bikes more but it can be scary to ride your bike if you live in a city that's not necessarily safe for cyclists so there's a lot of work to be done in the bicycle advocacy wor world Good morning there, T-Rex. New friend alert. I just met Shelby from Minnesota. Woo! How you doing? Doing great, loving the hills. Loving the hills, this is your first rag bri. First rag bri. What inspired you to come out here? Um, I had a willing a willing participant partner this time. That's why, that's why I finally did it. Good. But it seemed like an epic ride. And you're into bike packing. Yeah. Yeah, I like bike packing, you know, but I got a kid, so I've slowed down. So this is the first time back out in a while. Good for you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. And you're loving those hills today. Oh yeah, loving them. <laughs> loving them. Getting, getting them in today, so you don't have to do them tomorrow. I love it. Yep. Uh, I just love riding at a slow pace and just chatting with everybody. I talk all day long. You know, you think you're just pedaling, like your legs are gonna be tired after rag ride, but really, it's my throat that hurts after 
a few days of rag right from oh, yeah. talking. <laughs> but it's all good. Shelby, you're awesome. Woo! Yeah, Danny. Yo, what's up, dudes? It's amazing how he does that. We're going pretty fast. I would say 25, 30 miles an hour. He's just surfing that thing like it's nothing. Colorado flag in the house. Hey, Thank oh, you for hey. bringing the pride. <laughs> Always. It's no fair. Little Jack won't wait up for me. He's too fast. Jack, slow down. Slow down. Whoa, look at this awesome rig. Look at that. That is so cool. Is this homemade? Homemade, fiberglassed it myself, welded the frame, put an adult tricycle uh, rear end underneath it. So that's it. Who gets to sit in the cool part, the back? They take turns. Okay. About 30 to 45 minutes and then we swap. Here we go, slip and slide. Number one of Rag Ride 2023. You ready for this, Jack? Yes. Okay, good. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that was pretty good. We got a few holes in the slip and slide. Don't go over that area, but otherwise you're good. All right, Jack. Oh yeah. High five. High five. So, this is how you stay cool at Rag Ride. I don't know if I introduced Chase, but Chase works for Priority. Hello. He's riding us with us this week. Yeah, absolutely. Holy First Rag Ride? First Rag Ride. What do you think so far? I love it. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. uh, it's the country. I'm, I'm done with the city. Yeah, yeah. Rag, or Priority is in New York City, and that's where he lives. So this is a little break from the Fresh craziness. Air. Fresh air. All day long. All day long. And if you're curious where people fill up their water bottles, you can do it all over the place. This nice farmhouse put a little water bottle filler upper, and these things are all over. And it's good to stay hydrated. Right, Jack? High five. Good slip and slide. Woo! Let's, let's do this. There is no shortage of inspiring people out here on Ragbri, and they all have their own unique stories. And a lot of them are riding for something bigger than just having a good time out here at Ragbri. And this is my friend Mike here and his hey. family. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Doing great. So who are we riding with today? All right, so my name is Mike. Uh, we're from St. George, Utah. This is my son, Kean. He's 10. Hi. We've got Jaden. He's 7. Nice. And then we've got Daisha. She's 12. This is our first rag bri. We're super excited to come all the way out in Iowa and uh, ride some bikes. Right on. And so. uh, tell me the story. What are you riding for? I saw the big flag. So yeah, we've got a Donate Life flag. I've got my uh, kidney donor athlete uh, shirt on. And uh, last year I was inspired to donate my kidney. And so my right kidney went to a gentleman in Wisconsin. Uh, it turned out to go to a father of five, which is really cool, about my age. And uh, he went from being on dialysis three days a week to being free, to spend time with his family, to spend time with his kids. And uh, that means a lot to be able to do something so cool for somebody else uh, that I didn't know. I hope people will consider it because if we have more living donors, then we won't have 90,000 people on a waiting list waiting for a kidney. And uh, that's, that's where we can make the biggest impact. Life is short. Um, I've got seven kids. My three uh, others are older and I didn't really get a chance to do stuff like this with them. And uh, so it's just seizing the moment. Take, take advantage, take that time you have, and do it. Make it happen. Can I get a high five? I feel like high five. five. Hey, Jay, <laughs> show him your Olay you do. Oh, you do an Olay? Oh, he's good at Come it. Come on, let's do the Olay together, bud. Don't be shy. No, like, I do it only in tunnels. Only in tunnels. OK, good man. You got to follow the rules. So one of the really cool things about Ragbri is you get to meet people in real life you've only known online and I have two special people right here. How you doing? What's up? Good. What What's are up? your names? Who are you? Where'd you come from? This is Alan. I'm Brett. We're all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. Came all the way up here for you, man. No, you came here for Rag Bride. Came here for Rag Bride. Oh. No, you inspired us to be here. Right on. And Alan, how old are you? 12. You're carrying all your own gear? Yep. Got my, this is all my like sleeping stuff, chair, clothing, food and book. And then You're awesome. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Good to see you. Good to see you too, my friend. How you doing? It's uh, Mike. Great, man. Ah, I've been looking Cheers. for you. These spoke bracelets right here are some of my most cherished possessions. And this guy right here makes them, Mike. He's the best. He rides around Ragbri with a backpack full of spokes and he makes these bracelets custom for everybody. And they're only six bucks. And I'm excited to get a new one. If it's not oh just oh, right, it's I can always great. make a different one. Is that sick That'll work? I love it. Thank Dynamite. you, my man. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Oh, yeah. Right, Look at that. That's fine. That's perfect. <laughs> There's not a ton of vegetarian options on Ragbri, but corn is definitely one of the options. And this is corn country and it is good. Hello, thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you see something that looks like a forest fire from off in the distance, it's not. It's Mr. Pork Chop making pork chops. Very famous pork chops, I've been told. Obviously, I don't eat them, but uh, it's a big part of Ragbri. Yeah, guys. Making it happen. We are in a soybean area right now, not corn. Hey, Alan, you having fun? Yeah. Is this the best day of your life? Literally, yes. Literally. So far. It's a great day to be at the back end of Bragg It's so chill back here. I'm digging it. Will you spray my back yeah. with some water? Here we go. Do it. Do it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When it's super hot in Iowa, you have to take advantage of every opportunity to get wet, even if it's just a little girl with a hose. You stop and you have her hose you down. <laughs> so we've been riding together for a few hours and what have you been hiding from me? Beans. Look oh, at and, that. And tortillas and beans. You have tortillas and beans with you? Yeah. What else do you have in here, Lily? Uh, I got some ghost pepper. Oh man. These nuts. These are amazing and also quite hot. <laughs> we got some Cheez-Its. Uh, do this book. <laughs> you guys are, are my books in there? <laughs> yeah. You have I, my book with you? Uh, Hot Wheel. A hot wheel, just in case? Yeah. <laughs> just in awesome. case I'm bored. That's all. Awesome. Which I'm not. <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh yeah, my bottle of Cholula. You have a bottle of Cholula in there too? Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Hi, Disco. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Are you the cutest dog on Ragbri? Yes, he is. Oh, you're so cute. And we've got Mary Beth from BBB Adventures. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. So you're riding with your dog? I am. Oh. Yes. There's tons of inspirational people out here. I just may have met the most inspirational person, Marley Blonsky. <laughs> Tell me what Hi. you do. Um, I am the executive director and co-founder of All Bodies on Bikes. We're a group working towards inclusion in the cycling world. So. All, well, also all butts on bikes. Um, <laughs> yes, you can buy this shirt. Just Google it. You'll find it. Anyway, we do inclusive group rides, and we're just trying to make the industry more inclusive for everyone. And what does that mean? Uh, kits that fit bigger bodies, um, weight limits that are posted, and you can find them easily. Um, do you know that bikes have weight limits? I didn't. Yeah. Um, it's often like 275 pounds. Um, so just trying to make people more aware of that, especially bike shops. So when folks go into the bike shop, Wait, do you want me looking at you or the camera? No, you're good. You can look at me. Okay, I'm like, this is so awkward. Ah, Hi, you, guys. you got me, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, so when people go into bike shops, they get treated with respect. So we're doing education, consulting, whatever we can, because I've had enough crappy experiences and everybody likes to ride bikes, so. Yeah, and what? tell me about the experiences. Like, what, what happens to people? Um, you don't get, you know, you walk into a shop and people assume that you're a beginner just because you're in a bigger body. It's like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being a beginner. Let me make that clear. But if you go in and like know what you're talking about, like just being believed, um, being asked the same questions that anybody else would be, you know, not having assumptions made, um, but also just not being able to find the equipment that you need. Um, you know, my co-founder Kaylee was riding across Alaska and didn't have a rain jacket that fit. Um, there's a bunch of brands that have since come on in the last couple years that make plus sizes, but it's still not enough. Yeah. Like I mountain bike, I don't have knee pads that fit. So just things like that, that it's like, yes, you can ride a bike wearing anything, but your experience is going to be better if it fits. If it fits. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. And how did you get into cycling? I got divorced and uh, the bike became my like safe space to go where I could just like feel my feelings. So yeah. 
about yeah. 10 years ago. Talk to me about where you're gonna take this. What's the ultimate goal? Um, so we have 11 chapters right now, because um, I think that's where the true connections are made is with those local rides where you're meeting community, you're not worried about getting left behind, you can just be yourself. So opening up more chapters, um, we just became a nonprofit, so trying to figure out the finances there. And, yeah. um, ideally, and how can people like, find out more? Go to allbodiesonbikes.com or follow us cool. on Instagram at All Bodies on Bikes. Right on. And you're yeah. going to be here all week, rag All week, Brian? all week, rag Brian. Yeah, sweating my, whoo. Sweating it's, your whatever off. Exactly. Yeah, it is warm out here. <laughs> and this is your first one, right? It is, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm having, it is unbelievable the number of people out here. I'm sure you've been filming all day and getting some good footage, but like, I'm blown away. Whoa! What's your name? How do you do this? I'm um, Drew Pearson. I'm um, with Team Get It and uh, do it with mindfulness and practice every day. Makes me happy. Wow, that's awesome, brother. Yeah. All right, we have 25 miles to go. Alan, can you do it? Yeah. Right on. What's the furthest you've ever ridden? 72. 72. 72 miles. I don't know how far we're riding today, but I think it's somewhere around there. So I'm here hanging out with my favorite ambulance driver, Grant. I've known you for five years now. Eight. Eight, something like that. Grant always takes really good care of me. Luckily, not taking care of me like because I've splatted on the ground, but just being a nice guy. Well, not yet. And now I'm signing books for him. Thanks for bringing my book. Hey, and you can buy this at doozerbook.com. <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan, it's it's just me. Me, me. me and Barb, you know, your favorite people of all time. And uh, we just wanted to say we're really glad that you're here, Rag Rye. We had a really good time seeing you. And Barb likes your channel. I also think it's okay, and uh, it's really hey, good Hey, 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 oh, what, what's wait, going wait, on? Oh, no, you stole my camera. <laughs> what, what is this? This is Scuba Steve. During the day, Scuba Steve, during the day, is half-strength electrolyte. Most people are drinking either straight water or sports drinks that are too strong. You need to cut it in half, 50-50, and it'll get in your body 28% quicker, so this is half-strength electrolyte. Did you really bring this for me? You brought some frijoles for me? I actually found them over here by the fence. <laughs> and he brought my favorite Mexican cookie, the Principes, that matches his shirt. Look at all this good stuff, man. You're the best. Oh, and you, my favorite fig bars. Oh, man, this is true love. He takes care of me every year. He brings me a little care package of goodies. Grant, you are the man. I'm tired of watching you drink dirty water. <laughs> I tend to do that. If you're going to get dysentery, I want you to have some good roughage in your system. <laughs> so this is my friend Brentley. You may remember him from last year's videos. He and his uh, wife, Mary Beth, rode bikes all the way across the country. We rode that bike. Oh yeah, that one. The Apollo. The Priority Apollo. The Apollo mission. And now he's back at Ragbrite because he loves Ragbrite. I love Ragbrite. He hurt himself. He's going to, yeah, he hurt himself. I did. Oh. I hurt myself. Oh, oh. Can, can we all get, oh. 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 But uh, yeah, I broke my collarbone on June 3rd and it completely wrecked our rag ride prompt plans and so we were talking on bbb adventures about how you know we were not overshoot and barb and her husband hi barb hi ryan how's it going it's growing great contacted us and said hey we have a solution for you because my doctor said you can only ride on a recumbent so they offered they brought this from new york no way they did it's a little bit of uh you know youtube angel She's a YouTube angel. She Yay, came to my YouTube angel. And uh, so, yeah, so now I get to do rag ride. Otherwise, I would be home pouting like this. Oh, I'm glad you're here, brother. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're getting there. We're getting there. How you doing? Good, good. Last hill of the day, I promise. How you doing, brother? What brings you to this part of Iowa? Oh, you know. I thought I'd just go for a bike ride with my buddies. Nice. Nice. Super nice. You having fun? Oh, wonderful time. Good. We're getting there, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. And I see a naked lady up here. What's this about? What was the, what was the rule on rag -bike? How is it to ride the tandem alone? It sucks. It sucks? It sucks because you know why? She's a flat, I mean, a, a sail. She's a sail. Oh, yeah. yeah. She just like makes it. Yeah. She's a wind drag. See a dollar? Somebody give me a dollar. Oh, somebody gave her a dollar. <laughs> oh yeah, Alan, get in there, buddy. We were riding by and we almost went by. We actually did go by and then I saw out of the corner of my eye this yellow 
trough of some sort. And yeah, we're gonna get in here because it's water. Because it's water. Oh, did that feel good? I'm digging these giant fans. They're cooling off all these people. It is hot. It's probably like 90-ish and a lot of humidity. We're not used to humidity in Colorado, so yeah, we're trying to get as cool as we can. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> I am Iron Man. <laughs> I actually feel chilly. It feels good now. We're moving on our wet clothing. Get a little breeze. Chase, your first day of Ragway, how you feeling? It's fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right on. How you doing? It's good to see you. Right on, you're doing it. How's day one? Awesome. Awesome. Best day ever. How's mom doing? She's doing great. So we just rolled into Storm Lake, which has a giant lake, which is very good news for people like me who like jumping in water. Great day, buddy. Congrats, Fantastic that was day. awesome. Thank you. Yes, Alan, give me a high five. Boom. And look at this, we happen to have some Team Doozerites right here. Hey, this is my buddy Wilson. And we have some more over here, how you doing? Doozer. Good to see you. How was day one? It was, it was rough, rough we honestly. We made it. You made it, congratulations. <laughs> Proud of you, buddy. Check it out, we have an Iowa beach. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh boy. Oh, here we go, let's just lay back. Oh. Right on, Chase. Enjoy it. So I just got back from swimming and my campmates are here having dinner. Guess what they're eating? What do we have? Frijoles. Así es, look at this. Hey, frijoles. Look at that, so good. Where did you learn how to eat like this? Ryan Van Duzer. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Eat Chase, up. how is it? The best meal I've had all day. <laughs> exactly. The second best, the corn. The, the corn really good. did slap. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And look at this, we're eating burritos lakeside. So I'm sitting here with my boys, what's up? And everybody has a story to share. And Chris was just sharing a, a pretty darn incredible story. So Chris, let's, uh, let's hear it. Right, we're gonna take it from the top. Take it from the top. All right, so we were talking about my journey as to why I'm here. I'm Chris, by the way. Um, and it all started with medical issues. Back in 2020, I was diagnosed with, uh, with bradycardia, not a huge deal, but I had a heart, really, heart, really low heart rate um, uh, for just standing around. I was 38 when it should have been up higher than that. So anyway, they freaked out on me and they told me that I needed to do exercise. So I started running and started biking. And then my buddy Hunter over here found Doozer. That's Hunter. <laughs> found Doozer online, like many of us and got inspired and uh, we started riding together and we've been hitting the trails ever since. We've uh, gotten to the point of bike packing now. Um, and so we made a goal in January, no matter what, we were going to rag ride this year. It's happening, like no matter what happens. So we bought the passes in February and we made sure that it was done, you know, good to go. And then of course things happen like life does. And my wife decided to buy a house. So today is Sunday. Uh, we're out here at rag ride day one and on Friday, I bought and sold a house by 3.30 p.m., moved the house with Hunter, uh, unloaded it by 5.30 p.m., and then drove 24 hours to be here at Ragbri. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. So super happy to be here. Can't believe we found you over here. And tonight's just a great night, man. You guys have been friends since you were how old? Uh, he was 12, I was 13, so yeah. well over 20 years. Oh yeah, long 20 time. 20 years, just friendship, and now you're bike packing buddies. That's right, uh, man, that's right. I love to it. To the wind. Yeah. The yeah. yeah, I love it, guys. Yeah. How you doing, bud? How'd you get into all this? So, uh, my wife had COVID, and um, she was having a lot of health issues, and she couldn't sleep at night because her heart uh, would race. Um, 
due to COVID. Anyways, our son Mitch found a video of uh, you one time and uh, Stacy watched it and she's like, you gotta watch this guy, he's so inspiring. So we got to watching your videos and uh, you did all your adventures and so it helped Stacy and then it helped me get into bicycling and decided to uh, try out and do the same things that you do. Not to your level, but try it out and now I'm here at Bragbright enjoying it. Have you ever done anything this big? Oh no, never. So it's uh it's a new experience, but I'm loving it. What do you love most about riding your bike? What the feeling? Uh, freedom. Just uh, brings you back to your childhood when you used to just uh, get on your bike and ride around. And uh, you know, we get older and we grow, and we think that that's no longer important. Yeah, right on, brother. And talk to me about day one. You know, you were kind of intimidated about it. Oh it's yeah, the longest definitely. Longest you've ever ridden your bike. Yeah, I was intimidated. A lot of hills for sure, but. Uh, it was well worth it. It was a learning experience. Um, definitely won't pack as much next time, but it was a lot of fun. It's rewarding. You know what the crazy thing was? I didn't have to bring. No buddies, no whammies. Woo! Yeah, you look beautiful. You look amazing. I love you all.